in Jesus' preaching, he has a number of themes that he reports on from time to time. Themes that he feels uh, is very important, are very important for his disciples to understand. And one of those themes is this whole idea of the kingdom of heaven. And this figure of the kingdom of heaven, it plays a, a central figure in his preaching uh, quite often. But when he talks about this, what does he mean? And for some of us, it can seem a little bit confusing because he uses images that perhaps aren't all that familiar to us in living in 2017. Other places in scripture, though, when we look, help us to understand better what Jesus is saying to his disciples. In a certain sense, he's telling them fundamentally, it's the kingdom of heaven when we don't know how to pray, but the Spirit does our praying for us. That it's the kingdom of heaven when all things somehow work together for good for those who love God, for those who do his will. In the moment we get discouraged in life, God's Spirit is right alongside us, helping us along. There is the kingdom of heaven. And if we don't know how or what to pray for, it really doesn't matter because the Spirit prays for us. He knows us far better than we know ourselves, knows our present condition, and keeps us right in God's eyes. Jesus tells us, Right at the very beginning of the gospel, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field which someone finds and then hides. And then in his joy goes out and sells all that he has and buys that field. I remember when I was first ordained and, and teaching uh, catechism, there was a little girl. And she was rather, she was rather troubled by that, that parable. She thought it sounded like that person wasn't being honest, that that person was cheating. Wouldn't it be the honest thing to tell the owner of the field about the treasure? And if that person hid the treasure, she said, and then someone else bought the field, shouldn't he get the treasure? Wasn't that right? And of course, I think she missed, she missed the point of this whole story. And the point is that the kingdom of God is such, of such great value that anything else that we may possibly own pales in comparison. And I think it would be easy to give up everything else in order to have it. We may think it may be easy, but it is a challenge. And unlike the treasure hidden in the field, everyone, however, can have it. It is possible. God offers his kingdom to each and every one of us, a kingdom of peace, a kingdom of contentment and justice. If we know we are doing the right thing, if we know we are doing the will of God.